What it is, what's up, got your podcast in the cut, uh, that's the wrong intro, um, I legitimately, like, have an intro for my podcast and my videos, and I just never remembered which one is which, um, but today we have a Jajolian video, which we haven't had one of these, I think, in a while, uh, thanks to Stone Ocean, uh, like, the first video of Stone Ocean, I believe I finished Stone Ocean pretty much within a, uh, a week of it coming out, and I did a video, uh, comparing it to um the main anime of the of this season i guess just passed now uh attack on titan and demon slayer uh this is gonna be talking more about the manga uh, and where it's at this crazy diamonds demonic heartbreak uh started in december 18th 2021 so it's been going for about four months um and i felt like it's been interesting because it's pretty much the first the first material to work on for part three, uh, since I guess part four, but if you want to like think as like really outside of, because I mean the pretty much only part three characters that are involved in part four, uh, is Josuke and Jonathan. So you have the villain, a villain from part three, I know it's the first time we've seen one of those in quite a while, um, and Whole Horse, and Whole Horse, who as I understand was thought to be a possible protagonist, uh, when the concept of him came up, uh, in relation to part three, well, I don't know if he's supposed to be purely the protagonist, but one that would be featured as one at some point, um, we come to now and there's definitely some morality concepts that boost him as being a, uh, a protagonist, I would think. And, uh, as I understand, this isn't done by Rocky. Uh, you can see here it's written by the purple face, purple haze feedback, it's a very popular spin I remember. Um, author, and it's illustrated by Karusoma. Uh, so there's no featuring of Araki, I guess, uh, in this, but that clearly falls in line with, I guess, what Araki would have wanted out of our guy here. Um, so maybe he uh, gave some guidelines to uh, Kodono. I don't know. Maybe there's just a couple tips of how he would have wanted it to be done. I don't know, but Araki, I'm sure, is going to be, uh, as I posed in the, um, what was it, um, the kind of epilogue to part eight, Araki's probably going to take at least a year and a half, all two years before he did part nine, so I imagine he's not actively giving too many tips, because that wouldn't be a break, but also, I feel like Araki is saying somebody that could, you know, rest too long, I think he's always very hyperactive, uh, especially for his age, but, um, Let's just talk about, I guess, kind of the content here. Um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I don't think it's amazing. Uh, at least not to this point. I, I feel like it's gotten better every preceding chapter as you would probably expect from something this uh, this new. Uh, but I think it's been fine. You know, I, I like, obviously, I like, I, part three is probably my favorite, to be honest with you. If I had to be, like, completely honest, I, I could probably be leaned a little bit into part four being... You know, when I say my favorite, I don't even necessarily mean in terms of quality. Like, I think part four is probably better written. And I think part seven might also be better written. Um, but I just, there's something special about part three. Uh, it's like the last, you know, Shonen-esque of the um, the series. And then it also features some of the uh, improved, uh, you know, quality of life aspects that would become more commonplace in things like part four and part eight, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's kind of a blend between the future and the past, I guess, so to speak. And you see that's how interesting the characters are, in my opinion. Um, and Whole Horse is a guy that I think, uh, you know, had some, some, uh, a well that you could dig into a little bit. Uh, Josuke is a guy that I think is always going to be engaging based on his mannerisms. Um, and a little bit, the best thing about a prequel is you always like to see how can you make this fit within the canonical story. Uh, so I'm mean, honestly like, there's some things you know think about like Josuke now knows what a stand is right um I can't remember exactly how his first engagement with Josuke I mean Jotaro went but it does seem like he at least knew a good bit about what he like the powers he was using uh I don't remember if they had a moment where he t Josuke tells him what a stand is or not but um yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I, I don't know. You know, I really I, I don't I don't know. But I, I do love it. I do love that uh, they try to make this work. Uh, it's always difficult, in my opinion, to make a protagonist a uh, prequel work, and uh, especially when you have like an entire universe that like part three came out probably what? Uh, let's see. We can actually see right here. Um, uh, let's see. Whole horse. And then we'll go to part three from there. Uh, okay, so this is the final appearance. I mean, this is going to give us like an idea of the last year. So 91. So, what, 30 years, give or take? 30, 20 years? 91. 01, 2000. So yeah, 30 years. Uh, yeah, you have a universe that's in, at, from this point on, like 30 years ago, that you have to kind of make things work into. Um, and for the most part, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. You shouldn't have to really lean into like part four stuff too much because you're not going to be like, I, I don't think for what, like when you have the, you're going to have the inevitable moment where like whole horse kind of like thinks himself between, um, not to spoil it. I mean, this is a spoiler kind of, I guess. Um, you have Kaki Wayne's cousin, and then you have Kaki Wayne being obviously part of the Stardust Crusaders, and you have Josuke, who is related to both, uh, Jotaro and Jonathan. Um, and just between, like, the, uh, in Chapter 4, it was referenced that his mom, Josuke's mom, had a, uh, ill-begotten child. Um, she, uh, she, Kaki Wayne's cousin outright said Kakioi's name uh to Josuke when Whole Horse wasn't there. So you're gonna have a moment at some point I would imagine where she offhandedly mentions Noriake Kakioi's name to Whole Horse. Whole Horse goes crazy or whatever. Uh has a realization I would imagine he probably keeps himself for a little bit because uh, he needs Josuke for the time being. Um and then you have to that point I, I don't know how you connect it to Josuke, because Josuke at this point does not know anything about the Higashi Kadas. He has an idea of, like, Jonathan's build, probably, because I think his mom mentioned uh, jo uh, Jonathan in passing. Am I saying Jonathan? Joseph. I said Jonathan to this point. Joseph, uh, Joestar, my bad. Um, Joseph. So I know that she's mentioned him offhandedly a couple times, um, based on what we knew in part four, to, um, to Josuke, but... The thing is, you can't make it to where Whole Horse says too much about Joseph or Jotaro because he doesn't. Like, he, pretty much, um, Josuke has no idea who Jotaro is and uh, learns about Joseph, from what we know, uh, through Jotaro. So you can't have it to where Whole Horse even says too much about either of those characters, really. Um, that's just how to make it work canonically, I suppose. But we're going to have to have a moment where, like, all three of those things connect because it's it's just it's just a writing story and then uh this is more so in the, the vein of part four of having like a um a uh i guess a detective type thing not really detective but like just a uh you know one of those type of things where you kind of try to fill in um missing pieces to a mystery uh kind of a mystery um and that's gonna be part of the mystery is like when we connect part three and part four characters uh and we're gonna have i'm sure probably more part four characters i don't know if we'll get into uh I doubt we'll get much into uh, Koichi because Koichi unlocked his stand during part four. And uh, outside of being mentioned in passing, I doubt they'll try to bring him too much into there without having a stand already, right? But um, I'm sure his mom will be, you know, frequently involved. Uh, we already saw his granddad, um, who had a pretty tragic death, as I remember, in part uh, part four. But I don't know. I, I actually don't know how long this will last either because we don't have an idea of how long this will last. Will this be uh you know a, a multi-year project i would doubt it you know i, I feel like most of these spent let's look at uh, purple haze feedback to how long this lasted um see what a part five okay um page is 304 part this was what uh i need to go to let's see can i do this one here uh, 26, so, 30 times 10, that'd be about 30 chap. well, that'd be about 10 chapters or 30 pages each, that'd get you about 3 on 1, so, this would probably be about 15 chapters, give or take, um, yeah, if this, if this, if we're gonna give us 300 chapters, it's probably about 15, 
300 pages, which are probably about 15 chapters. So, uh, I mean, it's all about the scope. Like, I don't, like, I, we really have an idea already of what they're here to do. Uh, he's here to find this pair. That's been the goal to this point. Um, so if it is just that, if that's all they're, they're doing this for, then you could probably feasibly achieve, achieve that in 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes, 50 chapters. Uh, we already have it where the stand user of the parrot is about to attack, uh, or expose himself while attacking Whole Horse. Uh, shout out to the, the name of it being Pet Sounds, um, the Beach Boys album. You had Pet Shop, which I don't remember who that was, uh, real life, whose work of art that was, but, uh, Pet Sounds, that's a really good album if you haven't heard it. Um... I don't know. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, 15, I can see 15 chapters because you really, I think more than anything, they're going to try to avoid going too deep into the uh, the Joe Star exposition, even though it's been mentioned quite a few times uh, through flashbacks and, and the Dio flashbacks specifically. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, outside of that, just kind of, I guess, a brief, my, my thoughts on the story itself. Uh, I think the art has been great. It's been very... Um, I don't, I don't know what style he's trying to go with with the art. Um, it's definitely more uh, uh, older, I guess. It, it it seems to be older. I don't know how else to say that. I mean, it's just... It, it, like, when you read Part 8, that feels like a fresher drawing style that fits more into 2020... You know, I think the last one's 2021. Uh, 2021, um, you know, manga... And this feels like it's intentionally trying to be a little bit more uh, older. I mean, I don't know how... I don't think I've read a single manga from, like, 1991. You know, like, the late 80s, early 90s. I don't think I've read one. But um, at, to me, it's just my thought process. It seems to really try to be a little bit more... Uh, I, I, the word I'm looking for, I really can't think of off the top of my head. But it's attempting to be a little more... Uh, antiquated on purpose and it's cool it's, i mean it's an acquired taste uh it's also a lot more under easily understandable than i feel like a lot of uh iraqi's manga are for me like <laughs> i don't know for some reason a lot of iraqi's like things he puts out there with, with his art style just i can't convey it entirely it's like too dense sometimes i don't know if it's because like this guy the, the illustrator for this like can't Maybe reach the, the kind of creativity drawing styles of um, of our boy Iraqi, but uh, it seems very plain text, very simple to understand, which is cool because I think the highlight of this was the story. I don't think you are coming into this without Iraqi being involved and looking for like some grandstanding uh, art styles. Um, but yeah, there's a few moments that I kind of try to really look over a couple times. And, getting a feel for what's happening like uh when he says that voice like i don't know what he's uh i guess he's representing the bird i don't think a bird has a voice though i think this is a sound but it's clear the bird flying past him which is what's happening there but it's just not a i don't know if it's a voice per se maybe the voice though is supposed to be like um whatever that whatever his stand is like that the the um ability that stand has is maybe Kind of like the uh, the final stand we see in part eight that uh, tells people to do stuff and tells people to do differently things depending on who they are. But it uh, tells people to do stuff, and the way it comes or is conveyed here is um, through a voice telling them to do things, you know. And once they receive it, it digs their memories and blah, 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 blah. But um, I enjoyed this. I mean, I've enjoyed this to this point. Uh, I can pretty much end here. I don't really have much else to say. I'm uh, anticipatory for like the actual moment we see whole horse realize who he's working with when it comes to josuke um i like seeing josuke i mean whole horse as a hero i like seeing a little bit more of asshole josuke because we pretty much got a more tame version of josuke after like part or after like the i guess anime was it's like the first hand foot handful of episodes where he like he uh kind of gets calmed down by uh by jotaro he has to make more of an increase like, i think he always had morality we see that even with the uh car crash but uh it just seems to be a little bit uh lesser so uh in this and uh the way he kind of um 
I, sh I should probably get her name down. The way he kind of teases uh, his senpai, Noriaki, uh, Noriaki's cousin, it's really funny. I, I think I really enjoyed that part. Uh, let's see. I think her name was Ruru. That was her nickname. Uh, Ru Ruori. Some shit like that. I don't know. I, don't, I just fucking can't remember her damn name. Hold on, let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. It takes me a while to remember the names in uh in in this series because they're difficult. Uh, they really they really are difficult. Ryoko, Ryoko Kakyoin. Um, it takes me a while to remember the names in this series, but that's it for me. Uh, I am enjoying this at this point. Um, I'm gonna try to post this raw just so I can go ahead and get up there and not to sound for like a fucking another month by that time. The whole series will be done by now or by then. But um, yeah, Crazy Diamond, Crazy Diamonds, Demonic Heartbreak. Uh, very fun. I enjoy it. Uh. I hope to see maybe a couple more part four characters. Probably won't see many, too, too many part three characters, you know, other than the guys we've seen at this point. Because, I mean, it's just, they came up to a different island, so I don't know who else would kind of drop in. But probably some more flashbacks. I'm sure we'll see another Jotaro flashback. Uh, a Joseph flashback, maybe even. But uh, I doubt we see many other part three characters. I don't know who we have to this point. Uh, that would be it for me. Hope y'all enjoy. Peace.